Hi, this is Python distance, speed, and time calculation program I developed earlier. So let's see how it works. Right here we have a combo box. You can always select whatever you want to do. Like, let's say we want to calculate the distance. So as you know, distance is always speed. And we multiply that by time. So let's see calculate that's what you get as this distance cover then you can always change it to the speed there so in the case of speed it's going to be distance divided by time okay let's see time so that'll be distance divided by speed okay that's the time it takes us to travel this distance at this speed so what I'll do now is uh, show you guys how to reset it and you can always come back here and just enter whatever you want to enter and let's check that out as well you can also exit if you want or stay on uh, the system and check out other calculations alright so what I'm gonna do now is to take you guys straight into new python development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's close this and start a new one entirely exit yes and start a new program right there so the next thing we can do now is to define the following so i've imported the following library and that's the name of my program right there or the name of the app so the next thing I'll do now is define my frame right here there now I have the frame that I intend to use one will be right at the top and uh, one will be to the left in the left and far right so the next thing is to declare the variables that I intend to use and right here I have the variables those are the variables I intend to use okay they are all string and in total I have eight variables I'll be using this very one for my combo box and these are the ones which will be for the objects the text box or the inner okay let's continue okay the next thing is to define my title right here there that's my title there okay so i'm just going to let's say i end up closing this dot main okay we can even run it and see how it looks like for now but then let's save it first I'll save it straight, straight onto the desktop. Alright. So right there, just call it distance. There. Okay, that's my program saved straight onto the desktop. And I'll just run it so that you guys see how it looks like for now. Right there. I have my distance, speed and time and those are the three. In total I have four different frames anyway. And the background set as black. Alright, so let me just show it to you. Right there, you can see the background. That's the background right there. See it's black. Okay, let's close that and continue with the rest of the program. So right underneath here, I will then create, let me create the object for the main right, or the main left, let's do the left one first, okay, move it up a bit up so that you guys can see it, yeah, those are the objects I intend to use here, I have the combo box, I have the entrance, I have two entrance there, one for speed and time, and the other one is just, uh, where I will display the result of my calculation. So, 
Now let's declare more objects. I'm gonna need more objects for my for the rest of the just to display what's going on. And right underneath here, I enter my object to display what's going on. Okay, I can always get rid of this. There. And this will be for label. Okay, so if I save it, let's save control S or you can always go to the file and just save. And let's see how it looks like for now. This is how it looks like like right now. There. Although there's nothing happening, but right here I intend to enter the buttons. Okay, so the next thing is for us to create the buttons. So have a good look at the objects the codes that are used for the object and the title the variables frames name of the app the dimension the title and the background color so right here underneath here i will now enter the object or the buttons i mean okay right underneath here i will enter the object buttons there they are if i save it i can show you how it looks like but the, the thing is the button they does nothing right now okay nothing is happening now even if i enter some value yeah, nothing is happening okay so let's take care of the calculation of the distance speed and time okay right underneath my variables there right here I will enter the calculation for the distance speed and time right underneath here there that's the calculation okay using if statements right inside the the function or the method and right underneath here if this if you have not selected any of the any item from the combo box you get this message apart from that you have all the calculation here for distance for speed and for time okay now that that is done let's assign this function to the button calculate this very one so right here I'm gonna enter command equals that so the next one I want to take care of here is the reset so I'm gonna call that command reset anyway so come in here and just call that reset and the exit I'm gonna call that maybe let's say command command exit command q exit here yeah. all right so let's make those two codes up now okay let's start by taking care of resets there those are the lines of codes for reset so finally we're going to take care of Let's take care of the exit itself right underneath here we have exit okay so I think with that really that should be the end of the program really but let me show, show you guys the lines of codes again I've imported the following that's the name of my app and here I have my frames variables used right underneath here this is where the distance speed and time is calculated using if statement and then we have reset here and right here we have exit and here that's the title of my app and right underneath the title have my objects when I enter the data I intend to convert 
and here this is just the label for the data that I converted that will be converted and underneath here I have my buttons and this is where I loop the system okay just have another look you can always pause the video to copy the codes to suit your own need and there so what I'll do now is let's run the program so that you guys see it we will have to save it first though right there select whatever we want to do let's go for 9 convert that give us 5 uh, kilometers per hour let's see the distance covered is 405 and what about the time that takes us approximately 5 hours we can always reset and maybe start all over let's change that to something else here yeah, that's fine and convert get the speed time okay that's how the system works so with that guys i'll call it the end of this program i suppose you enjoy it okay you all have a nice day now bye for now